Hey, hey Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Capricorn, I'm getting activation. Some sort of activation has been initiated. Now, it could be potentially in writing. You have the writer card. I'm also seeing peacemaker and parenthood. You are being called to apply diplomacy and tact to a difficult situation. What has been initiated here is actually part of your ascension. So when it comes to your career, your finances, your wealth, your money, you may have considered a career in politics, okay? Or you may see political shifts and changes where you are at. Okay, this can be negotiations, unions, contracts, or any other peacemaking careers. I also see for some of you, you're headed towards more peace because things have felt very stagnant, potentially very slow, right? Slow progress, but you're getting there is why the turtle is showing up. Remember, slow and steady work leads to success that is sustainable. So I feel for some of you, there was a shift here that wasn't, you weren't able to sustain either cost of living or you weren't able to build for your dreams, your dream home. You weren't able to put enough away to save. There's something here about it not being sustainable. That is what has been activated here for you. And I get with the transporter card at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can't make that up. You have the activation and it says, you are activating your soul purpose and receiving your gifts. This is what's showing up for you on a subconscious level that is being made aware by your conscious self. You're, you're seeing now that this activation has been possibly, I don't want to say postponed, but it, it feels like it's been a slow process. There is a shift coming in. I keep getting that. It wouldn't surprise me to see maybe the chariot, wheel of fortune energy. Let's dive into your tarot and then we are going to clarify. So we have hanged man coming out of suspension, okay, or coming out of that slow pace energy and perhaps what's being activated is going to finally feel like you're seeing progress in the physical world. Yeah, eight of pentacles, you're a darn hard worker, Capricorn. And I feel like every Capricorn I've ever met has had such a strong, solid work ethic, but sometimes you take on too much, too much Capricorn. There's a new opportunity coming in for you. I feel like this page of cups is the activation that I keep talking about. Spirit, what is the potential? What's the potential? What's showing up above Capricorn? You have the potential to end a cycle, end the cycle, walk away from it. I actually like this Ten of Swords because it's more of a graceful, peaceful ending versus the typical Ten Swords to the back. Now, some of you, yes, you may have been dealing with betrayal or perhaps the Peacemaker is... is Five of Swords energy, Five of Wands. There may have been disruption. There may have been lack of peace in a work situation and you're walking away from it because here in the near future, you are chasing your pinnacle. But if it doesn't bring you peace, if it doesn't bring you growth, I feel like you're taking a new path. Yeah, taking a new path. There's definitely a change here. What's showing up in the energy for Capricorn? Justice. Beautiful. This could take place as soon as Libran season, which is the end of September, right? So we this is a September reading. Libran energy is September 23rd. There's your Queen of Cups. There's coming into full activation mode here. What's the hope and fear for Capricorn? Hope and fear that you're able to move forward instead of feeling like you're constantly one step away from taking off. And what's the outcome? I'm really getting full energy, a new beginning. 
New beginning here, something quite beautiful. The 10 of cups, 10 is all about endings, bringing new beginnings. Bottom of the deck, you have the wheel of fortune. There's that wheel spinning here to create emotional fulfillment, happiness. This is success. It's achievement. When it comes to your career, this is you feeling like you are being of service, like you're making a difference, that your voice matters, your your work is being recognized. It, it moves people on such a profound level. I mean, 10 of cups, beautiful. 10 breaks down to one. One is the energy of new beginning. So perfect alignment here. Let's dive in. Capricorn, your first card out was Peacemaker. Consider maybe politics, negotiations, unions, new contracts coming in, which I do see here. This can be peacemaking careers or heading down the path that brings more, more simplicity, more peace. It doesn't feel as stressful. Some of you may even be resigning, retiring, or moving to a position that isn't as heavy as the one that you were in because I feel like there's a maybe a heaviness that you have carried mentally, financially, physically, whatever this is here, approach situations with a win-win attitude when making business deals because I feel like there, yeah, there has been some sort of difficulty, right? There's been difficulty even in, even in matters of you know, maybe legal situation. Some of you could be lawyers. You could be dealing with a legal matter with the justice showing up. This can be coming to terms with something. It can be a favorable outcome. I mean, if you're dealing with anything that has to do with the law or maybe, again, politics or legalities, there's peace coming in here around this. And something, again, has been activated. The fact that it's coming up energetically and we're seeing the proof of it showing up physically that's what you're going to start to see as well it's like you know it energetically or you feel the shift but now you're able to see it and I think that's the message of activation showing up here for you now things have been a little bit slow slow moving or you may want to just slow things down a bit maybe it feels like it's been so hectic so busy and making slow progress, right? Remember slow and steady win, uh, wins the race. It, slow and steady work leads to sustainability. And again, I feel like this new opportunity that's coming in for you with this page of cups is emotional sustainability, but it will be backed up by the, the pinnacle realm as well, because you're here. And some of you, you may actually have the ability now to put your time, your investment, and your heart into a new path where maybe you had to work up to that because you are a hard worker. And then you have parenthood. Healing your inner child will help make you money, okay? Now, some of you could even be a caregiver, a teacher, a pediatrician, or any other you know, career centered around children. Okay. Um, I'm also getting stay at home parent. You may have been a stay at home parent for quite some time, or you were juggling a full time job, taking care of your kids and healing your own inner child. I mean, that's a lot to juggle and mentally, physically, emotionally, that is a lot to take on. And some of you could even have a child that's leaving the nest. You could be finally feeling like you've come to terms with some healing around maybe the inner child, or you may have been a teacher for quite some time or a caregiver. Yeah, a lot of you are in a caring profession. I see that here, or you love what you do, or you're heading towards, some of you may have even felt a little bit burnt out if you're a caregiver, right? And you're like, oh, I'm ready to be done. I, I've loved taking care of all these children or I loved raising my kids or, you know, I've loved it, but there's been highs and lows and it takes a lot of your effort, a lot of your energy. And you may now be writing about your life. Some of you are writers, authors, creators, content creators, bloggers. This can even be a writing career of some sort, journalism. Because I'm getting spiritual gifts being activated, some of you may want to try automatic writing 
or if you've never put a pen to paper or if you've never just you know started to jot out your thoughts or your ideas you may want to put that pen to paper or you know uh, on your notes on your phone or you know voice recording whatever it is here i feel like it's important to put it out there in some way shape or form some of you may even be writing a business plan. This may have to do with the contractual agreements that I see coming in here for you, Capricorn. Your, your words have power to influence and share your gift with the world. Yeah, words are magic. Use them to manifest more abundance. You may be a list maker like I am, right? Maybe you have a million sticky notes all over or you carry a little notepad and you put your creative genius ideas on it. It could even be your to-do list, your grocery list. Some of you may have just jotted something down on a list as you opened up to this reading is what I'm picking up on or you're taking notes right now. But you have this writer inside you. Something is definitely being called to act uh, or activated right um so we have the transporter i always like to take the bottom three because this is what's bubbling up from your subconscious to become more aware of this card is a good indicator that things will start moving for you rather quickly and it sounds a little counterintuitive for the slow energy because i feel some of you want to slow down but perhaps the the activation to slow things down a bit is what's coming in quickly. Or perhaps, you know, if things have felt slow moving, yeah, you're getting ready to, to move forward. Some of you, this is travel. You could travel for your career. This may have to do with public transportation of some sort. You may even be a driver, okay? A career in transportation uh, such as travel, driving, or shipping could appeal to you, or maybe that's what you're coming out of. I also see some of you are receiving a package in the next one to three days, okay? There's a package coming in. You may have, you may already know what this is, of course. I don't think it's just going to be, woof, a package in the mail. You've probably already ordered something. You could travel for work, or perhaps you need to take action on some financial matters, yeah, some of you, there is going to possibly be travel that you do take regarding, you know, financial matters. It says here, Deptford Bridge. Now, I'm not sure where that is located. Um, I'm also getting F-O-R-D, Ford. So perhaps someone lives in a place that has the word Ford in it or a last name. I'm actually seeing here Bedford. Now, again, I don't know if that's a last name or a location. Take it as it resonates. F-O-R-D could be a street, could be a location, could be a last name. F-O-R-D. And I'm also getting Porter with the end of Transporter, okay? Uh, we also have Money Manager. This is a really good card for a lot of you Capricorns because money is, you know, a part of your pentacle realm. You are a part of the pentacle realm. This card could indicate... Your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. And I was picking up a little bit on that uh, fool energy. And we actually see that with the 10, the ending bringing in a new beginning. But I feel like there may be, I mean, you have double tens, 10 of swords, 10 of cups. I mean, there's an ending that's actually ushering you towards a beginning. And it may be bittersweet. Maybe you've been working with, you know, children in a musical department for the last 40 years and it's bittersweet, but you're ready, right? You're ready to move on. Uh, perhaps you do have a child leaving the home and you know maybe you've paid for college or you're helping with college because I see some sort of travel potentially uh, that has to do with bettering oneself or it has to do with money. There could be a trip being planned here as well. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything finance because you're good at finance Capricorn you can't expect a happy outcome when it comes uh, you can expect excuse me you can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances that's why we have the justice in the upright and that's what I was picking up if 
you are dealing with some sort of situation that you had to end or walk away from, or if you've been stuck not knowing, am I going to get that raise? Am I going to get that offer? Is that settlement going to come through? Is that inheritance? You know, whatever it is that you've been kind of waiting on, I feel like there is a favorable outcome here for you. And then lastly, activation. This is a big key theme for you in the month of September. You are activating your soul purpose and receiving gifts. Awaken your soul and tap into your ancestral memory and inner wisdom. Focusing too much on the material world instead of the spiritual world. This is potentially what is being activated for you. I mean, I'm just looking here and I don't see tons of pentacles. So I don't feel like you're focusing so much on the material. Some of you... I feel like you're working real hard. Nine of wands showing up. This is someone who is dedicated. This is someone who goes the extra mile. This is someone who doesn't give up, right? You look a challenge in the eye and you give it a wink. And I feel because you've, you've been so steadfast on your journey that, yeah, you may enjoy the finer things in life. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like there's a soul mission being activated within you and it may have more to do now with the spiritual and intuitive piece of it all, okay? Yes, the financial piece is showing up here or it, it will come with it, but I feel like now you're focusing on that emotional, spiritual side of business or side of yourself because that's what's being activated here for you. And that will help you manifest more financial abundance, material abundance, if that's been lacking. All right, let's dive into the tarot. You start off with the hanged man in reverse. This is surrendering. This is uh, allowing yourself to have that breakthrough or it is feeling like you have a breakthrough. Typically, the crown chakra is illuminated on the hanged man energy and it's the case in this illustration as well. When the hanged man shows up, this is Pisces energy here, it is about sacrifice. You've sacrificed your blood, sweat, and tears into building your career, building your business, building your affluence in some way. And now there's a brand new perspective. There's an aha moment showing up for you. And I feel like it's about time. It's about time that you've seen a perspective shift taking place because the power of the mind is profound. We can use our mind to build or destroy. And I feel for some of you, you're using your mind in a very profound way to build. And this is part of, you know, activation. There is spiritual enlightenment coming through the crown chakra that is opening you up to that collective consciousness of ideas, of being able to see from many different, you know, viewpoints, a, a higher point of view, even a more holistic point of view. To rise above and see what you couldn't see before. And the challenge here is the nine of wands. The challenge is, is you're probably tired as heck, right? You're tired. You probably are, you know, you know you're coming close to the end here, which you are, ten of swords. But you're exhausted. Whenever I get the nine of wands, this is the wounded warrior. And it reminds me of a boxer in the boxing match right? And they are bloody and they have a big bruised eye and a bloody nose and they, you know, hurt their hand. And, you know, they're like, one more, one more. I got one more fight in me. And I feel like you, you know, you do, you have one more fight in you. And I feel like it's the last call of, you know, the ding, ding, ding before the hands are up in the air, before a winner is announced. And I actually feel like the winner in whatever context this is for you, it's gonna be your hands in the air. And I feel like it's because you didn't give up on your path, your purpose, your mission, but you are tired. Uh, you feel like you, you don't know if you have the determination, the motivation to keep on going, but you do, right? You do, why, why do I know that? Because you're a darn warrior. You have this eight energy about you, eight of pentacles, which is part of your, your energy Capricorn. The Eight of Pentacles is someone who is not afraid to put in the work, not afraid to gain knowledge and dedicate themselves. But sometimes this can be workaholism. Sometimes it can be, you know, overdoing it here. Uh, this at times is also mastery, self-mastery. And 
You want to be the best of the best, and a lot of you are. You are the best of the best, but there's always room for growth, room for expansion, and that may be why you are stuck in the hanged man, because you're like, what's next? I've hit this, this tier, right? I've hit this level, and now I want to crush through the glass ceiling, and I want to rise above, and that's exactly what I'm seeing you doing is rising above. You're able to now view things from a new perspective and through that view, through that lens is how you're going to see your reality. Therefore, your reality is shifting. Therefore, that is what's activating here a new world for you, whatever that may look like. It could be a new job. It could be retirement. It could be a new project, a business idea. Something is becoming activated. You feel it. You know it. A lot of you this is intuitively, and, and I feel like your heart's in it with the Page of Cups. This is something intuitively you know, you're curious about. It, it brings you happiness. It brings you joy with this Page of Cups. And you may be going on a new path of discovery, learning more about this, maybe going back to school. Maybe that is part of why the parenthood is coming up here. You may be that student. Maybe you want to go back to school and learn something. Maybe you want to go back for nursing, caregiving, um, you know, healing of some sort. Maybe you want to get your Reiki certification, natural path. There's something here about being a caregiver and helping others maybe ascend on their spiritual journey and their spiritual path. But it does require you to leave behind a life that you had once created and to step towards a new path. Ten of Swords can also be mental. It can be the mental thoughts. And I feel like you're ready to build. There's something here about using the mind to build. Now, don't get me wrong. You've already built a lot here with this Eight of Pentacles. I see this. But it's like you're ready to build a new step to a new area, right, of what you've already created. So imagine a home. Imagine the home has the back porch, a beautiful big porch. And let's say you've been building this big wraparound porch, right? And maybe on this other side, it needs steps to get up or, you know, to take it to a new level. And I feel like you are now building in a new arena on what you've already built, right? So it's not like you're building the house from scratch here. I feel like there's a new view. And now, instead of just going in that 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 back porch where it used to just be that view, you're able to now walk around the wraparound deck and you're able to see maybe the woods and the water at a, at a more beautiful angle than you could before. That's kind of what I'm getting here is you still have access to this in some way, shape or form intuitively, energetically, memory wise, but maybe not physically. Okay. Maybe some of you uh, you've decided to build a whole new deck on the other side, right? Whatever it is for you, I feel like it does require a goodbye, okay? And this is a, a graceful goodbye. Yeah, graceful. Even though it may not have felt graceful, I feel spiritually your soul is going to feel more peace. Yeah, because you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. She's very abundant. She's caring. She's nurturing. She also builds a plentiful, abundant life for herself and those around her. She's very in tune with nature. She connects like no other. You see the antennas that are made of twigs and you see the, the leaves coming out from her crown chakra. She is tuned in. And because there's this new activation that has occurred within you, because this is your energy here, Capricorn, I feel like the green eyeshadow also represents being able to see with the eyes of the heart. Green is the color of the heart chakra. And her eyes are closed. So it's as if she's letting her heart lead the way. And she trusts that her finances are taken care of. She trusts that she's supported. And she trusts that the earthly realm is going to nurture her. Right? Because she creates that, that garden and that flow. Some of you may be creating or working with nature, working with Mother Gaia. I'm getting here sustainability, sustainable products. This could be something you're creating that does bring you into retirement or the rest of your life. This is long term, whatever this is that you're stepping into. 
Now we have the justice showing up. It may be that some of you even broke out of maybe a karmic contract or you had to deal with something that had repercussions of some sort, whether it was cause and effect based on an action that you took, whether it brought negative or positive consequences, that's part of the universal laws, right? It's, it's about bringing things back into balance here. And if something, well, something was off kilter, that's what typically shows up when the justice card comes in at one point or another, life wasn't fair or there was an act of unjust or it felt imbalanced. But the truth is that that's what life is all about is, you know, highs and lows, just like the high and the low tide come in like timing, like clockwork, right? And I almost feel like divine timing is, is at play here to bring balance into a situation that you didn't feel awesome about, okay? You didn't feel great about. Now, what's showing up in your environment? Queen of Cups. So what I see you doing here, yes, there could be more than one queen involved or feminine energy, but I feel like this is characteristics of yourself, right? Right here in the near future, we do see the pentacle realm, but in the environment, we see the queen of cups. So it's as if you are surrendering, you're putting your arms up, you're saying, okay, I am accepting this activation. You can actually see it coming in. Her crown is levitating above her. It's in the crown chakra area. And I feel like you are accepting your truth of a situation and this truth is actually gonna bring a lot of peace and a lot of financial abundance, which we see with that queen of pentacles. You're activating both of these queens. Remember, you are an emperor, you are an empress, and it's all four kings or all four queens that make up the emperor and the empress. We all have those characteristics within us. We just gravitate towards, you know, one of them more often than not. And I actually feel like there's maybe activation here towards you becoming, I don't want to say becoming someone you're not because that's not what it's about at all, but it's, it's becoming a, another version of yourself, okay? A, a higher version, a more spiritual version. This can be a more abundant version. It can be a more loving version or a more intuitive version even. And I feel like you're embodying here these uh, characteristics and that's part of what's being activated within you. Now, the hopes and the fears, we have three of wands. It did show up in reverse, which is okay because this is a fear, right? We all have them from time to time. It's it's what we do with them. Do we, do we stay stuck in the hanged man because of fear, false evidence appearing real? But the three of wands is saying, yes, there may have been delays. Yes, there may have been opportunities that you didn't take or maybe they hadn't... Um, Maybe you didn't embrace for whatever reason. Maybe they were rejected, denied, or you just didn't jump on it, right? Whatever it is, there is an opportunity now for you to do so. And the hope is a return on your investment. And I see a return on your investment is absolutely available here. And it will be had, okay? It will be if it hasn't already. When the three of wands shows up, don't take your eye off the prize, but I'm also getting tend to the small details of things at this time. There may be um, loose ends to tie up, right? As we are walking towards this ending, there may be, you know, transportation. You may need to go places, talk to professionals, healers, financial advisors, you know, lawyers, whatever and whomever this is. I feel like it's going to allow you to jump on that next wave of opportunity. Just like we talk about the highs and the lows of the tides coming in, like clockwork, I feel like divine timing is bringing something back to you because now you're ready. Now that activated portal has opened for you. And what does that look like? What's the outcome? 10 of cups. I gotta say Capricorn, you've been through it, right? I've been with you for a while now. You've been through it. But I feel like this is one of those readings that really feel like you finally have shifted. There's a shift that's occurring here. And remember, we see that uh, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So there's a shift, a turning instead of repeating something. But maybe you had lessons to learn, right? We repeat things. The universe doesn't care how many times, right? 
our soul doesn't care necessarily how many times we, we repeat it as long as we evolve eventually and grow. And I feel like here is the completion. You've completed something big. And I feel like now you're able to kind of let your, let that breath out that you've been holding on to, right? It's time to kind of let the guard down. You don't have to be living in a state of fight or flight or fear, anxiety. This is good. I mean, this is the rainbow. This comes out after the storm and it's emotional satisfaction, success, and contentment. It is being able to help others in such a profound way. It is being able to help your family in a profound way. I mean, this is really quite, quite beautiful. Let's get a message here from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Capricorn? Wisdom of the Oracle. We have a change in the wind that leads to building blocks. Yes. I'm going to read the building blocks here because we already see that there's a change. And actually, look what card it is. It's card 12, Hanged Man Energy, which is your first card out that leads to the 2 and the 8. What's 2 and 8 equal? 10. That's your outcome. So you start off with the Hanged Man. We're seeing 12 here. You end with the 10, which is your 10 of Cups. And like I said, you're going to see physical confirmation here in your world that things are working out in your highest good and spirit is sending you signs and symbols and synchronicities through you know through your dreams through your daydreams as well your visions your meditation your journalings numbers signs i mean you name it there's a lot of epiphanies showing up for you this is about a strong foundation. It is about a beautiful work in progress. And the message Capricorn is this. You have everything you need to turn iron into gold in the alchemical process of creating the prosperous life you desire. Now is the time to build on the strong foundation you have already laid. We talk about this, right? And we literally talk about you building that wraparound deck, okay? Some of you, um, maybe there is some do-it-yourself projects or you're hiring a contractor uh, to get something done around your home or maybe that's part of your job. Now is the time to build on the strong foundation you've already laid. Keep in mind that these building blocks are imbued with the sparkling energy of your intentions. Own your dream and remember that you always have more than enough and you always are enough. So abundance is ever present. Your creativity is divinely inspired and the design for your life is taking shape in service to the world. You're meant for success. Yeah, in service to the world. That is what the Ten of Cups is. It is a beautiful energy coming in. And I feel like there's a new opportunity here for you. 28th could be significant, the 28th of September. Now, I do put these readings out a bit early. I put them out a couple weeks prior, the month before. So the 28th of August could be significant for you as well. Okay, now I am going to read the reversal or the protection message because I was getting the message of tending to the details or, you know, um, wrapping up, tying up loose ends. And I feel like that could be significant for the protection. So I am going to read that message for you as well. Now's the time to address the cracks in the foundations of your life. Perhaps your values have changed and it's time to strengthen your conviction and let go of the things that no longer serve your vision for the life that you want. Or perhaps you chose to ignore the signs that a situation or agreement that you have entered into is not right for you. Remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity. Now is the time for rigorous honesty, for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. Okay, we're getting a lot of renovations here. So some of you, if this isn't a physical renovation, it is definitely a core, uh, you know, core moral and, um, you know, mental renovation here as well. And to your consciousness, you will be so happy when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. Don't be afraid to replace. That could be what you're walking away from. 
And because it is showing up in the swords category, this very much could be, you know, mental blocks. What did I say? We can use the mind to build or destroy. And I feel like you may be now addressing something that you couldn't see before because now you have a new perspective, a higher perspective, right? Let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. Porter, Porter, again, transporter. Okay, someone has a name with Porter in it. If that's you, drop it below. I'd love to hear it or someone you're dealing with. Now at this time, Capricorn, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Nice deep inhale. Hold it as long as you can. And exhale with a nice big sigh through your mouth. And with your eyes still closed, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. One that's currently at your home or by your side. Or maybe even an animal that's crossed your path recently in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Capricorn. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section below the video and I personally will enter you into the giveaway where I draw a winner around the first of each month. So be sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, Capricorn, what are your messages from your spirit animals? We have, we have armadillo, card three. Armadillo reminds you to set healthy boundaries, okay? Boundaries are important at this time. I also see with the nine of wands, there is a fence there. So be sure that you're setting boundaries and not letting other people make decisions for you or manipulate you in any way. Some of you may be born on the 3rd, the 28th, so we're getting 28 again, twice. So that's a, a number to jot down. 2-8 could be significant. We have 59, 25, and 10. So that could be an age or a birthday, could be a life path number, a personal year number. Armadillo, healthy boundaries. We have frog spirit, 28, says clear out the clutter. Clear it out, right? Mental clutter, physical clutter, emotional clutter. It's time to let that go with the Ten of Swords here. Next, we have Starfish, open to infinite possibilities, right? And we are still on the heel end of the Lionsgate portal. And some of you may be still watching this in August, but I feel like that activation, that's part of it. We're getting that word, activation. That may have been when something was truly activated here for you, okay? That may have been when you jotted down your, you know, your possibilities, opportunities, intentions. That may have been when you started to see or feel or believe in a shift taking place within you. But Starfish is here to remind you. Next, we have Elephant. Learn from the past. Yeah, learn from the past. Card 25. This also reminds me of Deity Ganesh, remover of obstacles. And I feel like there are obstacles being removed here for you. And we also have card 10. That's that wheel of fortune that we've seen at the bottom of the deck here. It says the abundant universe will provide. 
I mean, Buffalo, they provide a lot. And I feel like Spirit is saying you are and will be and have been taken care of. Beautiful. What a good reminder here. Last but not least, let's get a message from your ancestors, guides. What's the advice here from Capricorn Spiritual Team? We have Pleiades. Some of you connect to the star system, Pleiades. You may be here on a double mission. Yeah, double mission. That could be what's being activated. Channeling and uplifting humanity, right? That is definitely part of what's coming through in your reading today. So yeah, you may connect with the Pleiades star system. That could be something you're looking into. Maybe you're learning more about it, but you do have double mission here. And then lastly, we have star seed. What lights you up? Because that is exactly what this page of cups is. And you're not going to believe this, but look at, it almost looks like little fairy lights around him. What lights him up? Look at that. It's actually, you know, levitating, the feet levitating. That's bringing him upwards. And there's a little pig, piglet with uh, wings. You know the quote, when pigs fly. So there's something here about lack of belief. Well, you better believe it because it's coming in in the physical realm and it's coming in in a big way. Trust that your mission has been activated. You're ready and there is going to be a leap forward. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this resonates and helps you on your soul's journey. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most, just like you. If you're interested in a personal reading or signing up for that monthly newsletter, or again, drop your animals in the comment section below to be entered into the free reading giveaway and hit that bell, subscribe and notification button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in Capricorn. All my love.